from Soso Tech. Subscribe. Welcome. I only make videos when I get something for myself. If you like honest unboxing videos, please subscribe and enable notifications with a bell icon. Here we are with the micro SDXC UHS-1 card Evo Plus with SD adapter. A Samsung micro SD card with uh, 128 gigabytes. And it's looking nice and that adapter is really, really stylish. We're just going to open it up and uh, pop it into my USB free card reader. So let's see, how do I even... It says to cut here. Alright, if you say so. Okay, so once that is open... I don't know, I have a, I have a weird desire to keep the paper intact. So let's see if we can get the plastic out without destroying the paper. Ah, here we go. Alrighty. So here are the uh, card and the adapter. This is an interesting construction. It's definitely useful for keeping adapters or old small SD cards and not losing them uh, because it's reusable. And it's more compact than the regular boxes that you got in the past for SD cards and micro SD cards. So you can actually use this again. It's probably not permanent, but maybe lasts for 100 times opening and closing. Should be good enough. A white SD card adapter. That is new to me. So the adapter is made in China and the uh, card itself is made in the Philippines. That is interesting. So this goes in here, of course, and we're gonna go and test this on a computer to see how fast it actually writes and reads. See you in a moment. If we revisit the packaging, it promises up to 100 megabytes per second read speed and up to 90 megabytes per second write speed. By this they mean ideal conditions, which I suppose is uninterrupted single file placement in a defragmented space. Well, I ran some tests and the results are in. I could not reach 100 megabytes per second read speed, but I got very close. A huge amount of tiny files is a mess though, as you can see. 11 or even 7 megabytes per second. That is painful to watch. As for write speed, I actually did reach a fraction more than 90 megabytes per second with one of the four tests. So that is nice. The speed drop for tiny files is even worse though. Again, I would like to ask you to subscribe and enable notifications. I put links to my other micro SD XC card tests so you can compare the results and pick the right one for you. Turns out this card has much better write performance, nearly 50% more than a certain competitor. I hope this was useful and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!